It's been almost two months since the deadly wildfires in Maui, and now people are getting the first look at their homes since the flames swept through the historic town of Lahaina. Gernal Scott has the story. It's an emotional day in Hawaii. Residents of the burned-out town of Lahaina returning for the first time since the deadly wildfires that killed dozens back in August. Many are coming home to little more than ashes, the fast-moving flames virtually wiping out entire neighborhoods. Local officials say they'll be out in force to help anxious homeowners with logistical questions. But the main focus at this point is mental health. Maybe collecting information, photographs for insurance purposes. But most important is getting that closure. For many of them that left in the midst of the fire, this is going to be the first opportunity to go back and really see what's left. But not every homeowner will be allowed back on this first visit. Only 464 properties have been cleared for visitation by the EPA, compared to more than 2,200 structures reported damaged or destroyed. Most residents who did get back to Lahaina on Monday said their top priority was recovering personal possessions. My wife said, I do not have any picture of my dad because it went all went up to the fire. Meanwhile, aid is still pouring in for those who lost their homes and businesses. The Red Cross is helping to care for some 7,600 people, about 78% of Lahaina's population, but they say they're running out of resources. We're looking for more of those, more partners that can come alongside us for this journey and keep this investment moving forward. West Maui is set to reopen to tourists on October 8th, but many locals say it's just too soon. Grinnell Scott, Fox News.